In today's Dr. C's Tips video, we're talking all about ways to deal with feeling overwhelmed. So welcome back to another episode of Dr. C's Tips. So before I jump right in and talk about uh, ways to deal with when we're feeling overwhelmed, what does overwhelmed mean or what does it look like? Well, essentially it's information overload. It's when we have too much going on and we feel that we are unable to handle everything or we can't cope with everything that's going on in our daily lives. Um, so yeah, so that's what feeling overwhelmed is, but it could be totally different how one responds to it on one person than on another. Some person, it could be like lashing out and screaming, yelling, uh, when they feel overwhelmed on another, it could be a panic attack. Whereas on another, it could be someone is just crying because they're unable to handle everything that's going on. So it's completely normal to feel overwhelmed from time to time. Hey, imagine all the things that we do on a daily basis, whether it's, you know, waking up at six or five in the morning depending on your schedule to making your kids breakfast, having to go to school, work, do chores, um, grocery shopping, make dinner, uh, work deadlines. And now, especially during the holidays, it's even more of a problem because we have more to do's and more expenses going on at this time of the year. We only have so much attention and memory and then our brains are kind of left feeling overloaded during this time leaving it hard to focus and get what we need to get done, done. You can almost think of our brains like an old video game console that's trying to play a new video game. So you can only imagine all of the bugs and crashes that happen. So what should we do when we're feeling overwhelmed? Well, first we need to stop and slow down because it's been proven that our IQ actually gets lower and reduced when we are stressed or feeling emotional. Okay, so you're not going to be able to think reasonably if you're stressed and emotional. So that goes with the first one is I want you to close your eyes right now. Think of a red stop sign. What does that look like? Okay, visualize that red stop sign. And that's going to help cue you next time you're feeling emotional and overwhelmed for you to stop so you could slow down. And the reason why we visualize that stop sign so we could slow down is so that then we can do or use a tool a relaxation strategy um, so that we can calm down so that then we can think reasonably. So I've talked about this in past videos. Um, I've talked about deep breathing. I've talked about guided imagery. Um, you could even go for a walk. You can take an adult time out. You could take a bath, whatever it may be. Find out what calms and relaxes you and do that for the next few minutes. So then after we've slowed down, we've relaxed and are in a much better place so that we can think um, to see what we can do to kind of help things out. Um, what I would like for you to do is to pull out a pen and a piece of paper. Then I want you to write down everything that's going on in your head. So every single worry, every single to do, write it all down. And I mean everything. And then after you write everything down, I want you to go through that list and then with that pen, circle the ones that you absolutely have to do. So if this means you have a child and you have to pick them up from daycare because no one else can pick them up, well then yes, you absolutely have to do that. But if there's another one that says pick up flowers, do you really have to pick up those flowers? Can someone else do it? Uh, could this be your boyfriend? Could this be your friend? Do you really need to have them? So essentially what we're going to do is do what we have to get done um, and see if you can get rid of the distractions that are on that list or see if you can delegate some of these to do's to other people so that it is much more manageable for you to do everything that you absolutely need to get done. So in summary, that means one, we need to stop so we could slow down from being emotional. Um, so visualize that stop sign. Two, practice a relaxation strategy so you can calm down and then think reasonably. And then three, take out that piece of paper and pen and do a to-do list. So essentially, you wanna be doing the things that have to get done today. See if you can get rid of the distractions and delegate other tasks to other people, but essentially, 
figuring out what has to get done today as opposed to what could get done tomorrow or next week. So try doing these tips for a few weeks and then ask yourself, how are you doing? I wish you tons of luck. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and following along. Don't forget that you can hit subscribe right over here. You can check out other Dr. C's and other videos over here. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'll see you guys soon.